Okay, so the whole point of this tutorial is if you're trying to like pour a surf ramp into Blender to make it smoother, look better, and just so it's smoother, right? So when you surf on it, you have no bugs, you have nothing. First of all, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to make a surf ramp, right? I already made one, right? Um, I'm not gonna show you how to do it. You're gonna have to find it yourself, right? So. Basically, what I did here is I have two ramps, right? I have one. This is gonna be the visual, and this is gonna be the physics, right? Uh, this whole thing, right? Look, um, catch it, catch it, catch it. U uh, H. This, all of this is going to be the physics, the actual collision, right? Because you usually want another part extending from this, right? So the uh, the collision is better basically right what you're gonna see and this is what is gonna be the actual collision this is just so let's say you don't want this part to be sticking out because you think it's ugly then you're just gonna use this instead right uh, like a normal perfect triangle and when you're making a surf ramp i recommend using a five to four ramp thing you can see this with you switch up momentum mod how to create surf ramps i recommend reading through this if you haven't before Basically, it is like the perfect surf ramp thing that you should use, that most mappers use, blah blah blah. Okay, so once you have that, once you've made your thing, you're obviously gonna need a um, hammer and blender. So save your thing, save your file. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here and you're gonna point this in. So what you're gonna have to download is you're gonna have to download plumber and blender source tools. Uh, once you download them, don't unzip them, just keep them. Go into, uh, once you have them downloaded, go to Edit, Preferences, Install, and just click on the zip. Once you've done that, um, just you're gonna have to go, to go back in here, search it for Blender Source Tools, make sure it's enabled. Once you have it enabled, you're gonna go into File, Import, uh, Import Plumber Valve VMF, Desktop Tutorial, make sure this is 1 and make sure this is separate make sure it is not merge because merge it does merge so that if you're making like a montage or something it doesn't take up as much space you can disable all this because you don't you really don't need it um sky camera you don't even need that so once you have that you import it right uh it's over here what you're then going to do give me a sec can i use some free cam you can do shift to lucky to freak out if you want to. What you're then gonna do is at least what I do, right? Is uh, I'm sorry, I, I I usually just separate them into different collections, right? Different like groups. Think of them like this groups, right? So it's just easier for me at in the long run. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get all of these, blah 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 blah. Select them. Um then you're gonna go in your collection, fizz. Right, physics, right, right, right. And uh, sec, let me turn this off. Now, wait, I forgot one of them, so I go M, physics. Uh, now, all of these, I'm just gonna go into a tutorial and I'm gonna go this with this. I am now going to, give me a sec, yeah. Uh, can I just look that? Yeah, I can. Delete this. I'm gonna change this into visual, right? Visual. And uh, now I'm gonna select this. Make sure you click the triangle. Click A. Uh, I actually click this. Go back. So make sure you click this. Click A. A. Then you're gonna do Control J, right? So you've done that. That's very good. Pat yourself on the back. Now you're gonna do the same thing here. A. Well. Yeah, that one. I thought something happened. Uh, give me a second. We're going on excellent. Now you're gonna do A, or you click here, A, A, Control J, right? That's very good. Pat yourself in the back again. Uh, once you have that, um, what I usually do is I go, uh, go and click Tab to go into Edit Mode, press three, and click on the front, and then you click uh, Smash Snap Cursor to select it. Then you do you exit out of Edit Mode, go to Set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor. And then you do the same thing for the physics. You go into here, objects, set origin, origin to to the cursor. And then you can press Alt G to move it to the center. This is when you port it. It's actually in the center, and it's not like some I don't know far away distance off or whatever. 
and now what you're gonna want to do is for the visual you press um, tab wireframe you go into here right and this is like kind of where the magic happens this is what makes it look kind of smooth so you press select one you go into wireframe with through z click this go and make sure in wireframe or edit mode then press three to select um faces so two is edges one is vertices right so you want to go into faces press um select these two dots Control e bridge edge loops and you want to make sure it's on merge um you see here you might not see it but they're connected just shift click them and connect them so give me a minute and i'll do this Okay, so now that I've like bridge edge loot everything, it looks super smooth, right? I can go back, I can exit out of it, and look, it looks smooth. Now to remove this choppy look, right, you can see every block, you can click, right click on it and click shade auto smooth. You see now it looks smooth, so when you port it, it looks smooth too. So next up, what you want to do for the physics, um, you have this, right? What you want to do is, you want to select each, you don't want to do the same thing, right? What you want to do is you want to select each of these edges, right? Okay, so now once you've selected it, select everything but the last one, right? And what you want to do is you want to make sure you have local and make sure you have individual origins. Uh, you don't need this, you really don't need that. That's just something uh, different, don't worry about it. And what you want to do is at that point you want to click S and you want to like increase it you don't want to go down right you want to make sure it increases don't do too far what you basically want to do is you want to make sure that these overlap right so when i click here you see it overlaps that's what you that's what you're looking for you don't want to like overlap it too much until here right that's just kind of weird you just want to like overlap it the bigger overlap the better right you don't need like a hella big one just as long as you have one right also you don't want to make sure you want to make sure you don't click the edges one because if you then scale it you see how it kind of pushes it out that will be like it won't be one on one with the visual so let's say the physics will stick out but on the visual it doesn't actually stick out right so you're gonna make sure you don't click um, the edge ones so once you've done that you also want to do the bottom ones Okay, so now that you've selected each thing on the bottom ones, I also had some problem with them um, when I was importing it, it didn't like properly separate the things, so they like left some lines in between here, right? I just had to fix that real quick. So once you've selected that, you want to just do the same thing, right? You just want to press S and you just want to increase it. The point of having the bottom part is so if once you have this part, it kind of causes a clipping bug, right? But since it's on a part where you don't actually surf on, it basically, I don't know, it basically means you don't, when you, while you're surfing, it doesn't actually happen on the surf part. So if you don't have like this bottom part, once you extend the edges, while you're surfing on the bottom part, it would usually clip and it would cause you to clip and stop you from surfing, right? But if you have this bottom part, it'll basically the clipping bug happens on a part where you don't actually surf, which causes you no problems basically, right? So yeah. So you wanna just extend it, right? Do the same thing as normal. Blah 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 blah. Right, that should be good enough. Yeah, should be good enough? Yeah, that should be good enough. So once you've done that, uh, yeah, I think what you can do is you can then do you can select this. And we have made an accent. You wanna shade smooth. You don't wanna shade auto smooth, you wanna shade smooth, right? Um after that you're ready to compile it into Cisco. You wanna press this and uh, this you wanna do tutorial ramp 
tutorial ramp ready and then this one you want to do tutorial ramp underscore physics uh, I just want to make sure that this shit out is smooth yeah so now what you want to do is you wanna by using your blender source tools you go in here you select a folder I already have one uh, usually I just make a separate folder for them whatever I'm doing so it's easier uh, I select that make sure you click SMD you don't need the engine path press export I see an export right now next up you need the QC file so when you render this you get two files you get your SMD file and your physics file um, let me just push this in. so now you need the QC file too I'll link this in um, the description and so the whole point of this <coughs> is it basically when you compile this it just gives instructions on what it's meant to do right also I forget to mention this whatever whatever texture you use here is gonna be used with the uh, is gonna be used with hammer right so if you name this reflectivity 20b for example right later on hammer is going to look for a vmt file called reflectivity underscore 30b and reflectivity underscore 30b the vmt file basically gives like instructions on how the texture is meant to be placed right well, like whatever you need there like the texture if it's meant to move if it's meant to have like a paint whatever that's you need to make sure it's named here um, as for the physics, like this really doesn't need to, you can just remove it and just make sure you have a material, right? That, that's like what's important. Like it needs a material just to be there, but it doesn't matter like if it's an actual thing. You don't need a VMT for it, right? I'm gonna have to export this again because I forgot. Export, uh, it's an export. So now, um, you go into here and you're gonna have to select this. So the model name is gonna be what the ramp is called. Um, just make sure this is this. Um, so the materials folder is where CSGO or Hammer looks for the texture. So let's say once you compile it, Hammer will go into this directory. So automatically, it's CSGO for, uh, backslash models, auto, uh, materials, models, auto jumper, other tutorial, and will look for the concrete of EMT. We'll read it and then you know it finds the VTF or whatever the actual image applies it. Um, for the collision, this is like the collision model settings. Um, just make sure I have tutorial ramp over here and apply it here. Right, make sure it's just correlating with the SMD files. Once you have that, uh, this should be right. Static prop, you need that. Um, surface prop is like if it's metal, wood, whatever. And yeah, this is the college model. Yeah, yeah. So once you have that, you basically want to use crowbar. Crowbar is super easy. Just go and literally fucking Google and search up Steam crowbar and you'll find it. It's like super easy to find it. It's usually like a, there's like a Steam group or whatever, Steam Guide or some shit on it. Just download it from there and you're good. Now you're going to want to compile it. Once you open it, make sure you click compile. You're going to have to set it up. This is pretty easy though. It's not that hard. <coughs> Just make sure it's the right directory for you uh, then after that you want to go into compile select the QC file write this and then the export where it's like gonna I don't know compile the files to right so tutorial export here open now you just compile it all right that's all good tutorial blah 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 uh, make sure you set up your QC files there right so I'm gonna open this in a new window I go other, I go tutorial, uh, country, uh, I'm gonna rename that to reflectivity underscore 3db. Uh, this is like a program I use, just gonna reflectivity underscore 3db. I go into here, I literally just copy, a sec, save. I literally just copy this, I go in here, paste it. Now, what I have to do is I have to rename this into vertex lit generic basically props have a different adding and they have to be called the vertex lit generic they basically have different rules some detail shit don't worry about it um yeah once you have that you're basically good 
Um, yeah, now compile it, right? Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Then I go into export models, copy this, go into Cisco, paste this once I'm in here. Um, I can literally just go here and then I just do this prop underscore static word model browse. Then I go in here and I go to tutorial ramp apply. Blah blah blah, you see, literally perfect. Give me a sec. It's this way, right? Uh, yep. You see? And you see how much smoother this is? It completely looks different. This has a choppy block feel, and this is just smoother. Also, a tip, right? You can see the college model also is different compared to the actual thing. Also, a tip is the less the smaller this is for the collision or visual the smaller it is so like less width the smoother it is but it also means you have more work right so if i have it like this it's more smoother because it has more like increments let's say right but yeah now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna I don't know, make sure this is right and yeah you can see the collision and we're just gonna test that in the game I mean, this is a pretty bad surf ramp because I just like spit a spider on it. Yeah, some shit like that. Uh, so we'll just test it real quick, right? Alright, so now you see, you see, there's like a difference. This is way smoother. All you can see with the collision, you can see it all, right? The, the, there's basically, this is just way smoother. Then time is smoother, right? Usually with this, even once you compile it, and let's say you don't have that bottom part. Um, you can still get like a clip brush bug Alright, but with this it's like It's like whatever, right? But with this one it looks so much like better A lot of people use um What they will use is they use um They'll use two brushes For the collision, which is kind of stupid But that's if you use that, if you do the collision wrong, right? If you do it the way I showed you, it should be perfect. And so now when you surf, it's basically super smooth. Well, the surf ramp is dog shit, like the way I made it in Hammer. So when, if you make that well, and you put it into Blender, then it'll be super smooth. If you put in some time, you can make stuff like this, right? Usually, once you make it in Hammer, this would look like super choppy. Right, but if you make it in Blender, port it, it just looks smoother. And so yeah, you can do stuff like this if you're dedicated enough. Um, that should be about it. You can see the visual. You can see like the th stuff. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. That should be like about it. Um, if you need any help, I recommend asking in Source Mod Cord. In source Mod? No. Um, in Source Engine. Uh, they're pretty good for hammer stuff, for like surf stuff, like advanced stuff. Uh, then it's like momentum mod, like I guess that's a good spot. Yeah, that should, probably, that should be about it.